Workers using water and foam to fight this industrial fire at a suit coat asphalt terminal just outside the city of Cortland. Flames burning dangerously close to a large liquid asphalt storage tank. Good evening, everyone. Thankfully, at this hour, that fire has now been contained. Yeah, but it was not an easy job for the crews on the scene. Flames coming perilously close to those tanks that hold highly flammable liquid asphalt. The call first going out just before 6 o'clock tonight along Route 11 in Cortlandville. News Channel Line's Madison Moore went down. She spoke with crews and has this update for us. Calls came in around 5.30 p.m. for this active structure fire at the suit coat plant on Route 11 in Cortlandville. Multiple fire and rescue crews rushed to the scene to find an asphalt storage tank on fire. It took crews about 45 minutes to contain the flames. And you can see behind me here, the Ithaca Tompkins International Airport actually sent out one of their crews to use a foaming agent they have on their trucks to smother the flames and stop the fire. Inside the silo tanks, you see the tanks is uh, liquid asphalt. It's maintained about 400 degrees, 500 degrees per uh, suit coat. Uh, the area that was burning under the uh, uh, under the pole barn is a uh, plastic uh, pellets essentially that they use for uh, paving products. And the smell of that burning plastic was strong, prompting the city of Cortland's hazmat team to respond. State fire uh, and hazmat teams were checking the air quality, but at this point there does not appear to be any air quality issues. An excavator is now on scene waiting for New York State Fire to arrive before they clear the area. They're going to be the ones to do the investigation into the cause of the fire. At this time, it is still unknown, but no one was injured and residents in the area were not displaced because of the flames. In Cortlandville, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Madison, thanks very much to you and Photog Ben for getting down there. If you need any updates, if, when we get them, they'll put them at localsyr.com and on the News Channel 9 app.